luck is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way Halloween season. Jessica is originally from St. Louis. I'm originally from Pittsburgh and we are familiar with corn mazes and pumpkin patches and all that haunted jazz. We are living in Florida. Florida doesn't really have that, but we went in search of the tallest corn maze that we could find. And that brings us to Harvest Holler. So I'm really excited about this. See, when you do a corn maze, the maze has to be taller than you. It has to be. It's, it's like a rule. Yeah. So there's a sign up here that says we have to stay on the trails. Don't, don't let us get lost. Uh... So I'm just going to pretty much follow you, Jessica. Because you have a wonderful sense of direction. I don't. Actually, <laughs> I don't. Oh, this is a pretty clean path, except for all like the dirt. <laughs> well, because I mean, Florida, there is no soil in Florida. It is all sand. There literally is just all sand here. I didn't understand that when I first moved here, that there is no soil. I thought it would be a mixture, maybe. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Is that a clearing with a ah lots of Spanish moss? Beautiful tree. Oh my. See, I wonder how old this tree is. No idea. So there's that one tree in Savannah that we visited, remember? It was over like 300 years old. It was called the uh, I can't remember what it was called. Uh the angel tree or something like that. Ah, oh, I told me. Uh, careful. This is absolutely beautiful. Like we love it here in, in Florida, but we really miss the Spanish moss that we're so used to in Savannah, Georgia. So it is really nice seeing something like this. Yeah, this is beautiful. So it's just a clearing. Do, do you realize where we are standing right now though? Inside a corn maze? It's a crop circle. So does that mean that there's going to be aliens? I'll be ready for them. <laughs> oh. It's a bit magical for me, walking into something like this. It's a bit uh, mystical and magical. Except for the, uh, the noise you can hear, that's the tractors doing the hayride. But other than that, this is just, look at that, that's so beautiful. I'm sad to leave it, especially right here. You look up and the sun hits you right in my face. And the sun's coming down through, oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. 
gorgeous. But this, this is my favorite. See, it, it's like I'm expecting you to be spooky, but in all actuality, you're kind of extra beautiful in <laughs> corn. Maybe it's the sun. I don't know. Surrounded by corn, my wife is even more beautiful. <laughs> I'm following you. It's like some sort of weird... Stalker much? St stalker much. Oh my god, look at all these stalkers. <laughs> oh, we are in trouble. No, we're in oh, the cornfield. Here's our first choice. Straight or left? Right, so straight. Or, well, it all depends on how you look at it. If we stand here, there's that and go that way. Let's go. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. let's go straight forward. Let's see who gets there first. Okay, so. So I am going to go, she's around there somewhere. Oh, ha ha, ha ha. Fork. Look at this. I think somebody got lost in here for days. There is a fork there. They eat corn. <laughs> Another choice. Ooh, this is, this is, which way you want to go? This it way? It's beautiful down here though. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Now I want to watch Children of the Corn. Ooh. Spooky. That's one movie we haven't watched this season. Um, yeah. Well, okay. I'll be honest with you. Growing up, I didn't think it was that great. The Children of the Corn movie? Yeah. Malachi? For someone who literally grew up in places like this, I lived on the very edge of uh, cornfields. Do you know what kind of connection? Uh, I think that scared like people in the city, but we were just kind of like. <laughs> Do you know that the the guy who played Malachi in Children of the Corn also played it, uh, not it, but uh, cousin it in the Adams Family movies? He's a short dude. Oh, okay. I can't remember what his name is. And then there's the redhead guy. Uh, what was his name in the movie? Courtney Gaines is his real life, real life name, I do believe. Oh. But oh, wait, wait. That's a pathway, and you chose to take this pathway. Why this pathway? Natural. Natural. Just keep moving forward. <coughs> yeah. It's pretty darn amazing. Like, I don't know. One thing I really love about cornfields is the wind. Yeah. Just get kind of getting caught and it's just like a wave of corn. So straight because this looks creepy and eerie and I love it. Can we go that way? There's a weird humming. Yeah. That's awesome. Up the landing. Oh, that was awesome. Uh-oh. All right. So, do you remember the whole um, in Wizard of Oz when the Scarecrow was like, do I go, you can go this way, you can go that way. That's what this kind of reminds me of. You want to go that way? I think. All right. I love the bird flying overhead. I love the road less traveled. Uh, that's us. Whenever everybody else is going one way, we go the opposite way and go, what's down there? Sometimes it's just a fork. 
other times it's a body that can stand by me. Well, no, to be honest, we've never found a body. <laughs> we've never found a dead body. We found tons of dead lizards here in Florida. Are you following the birds? This was a pretty, well, there's, there's a giant tree and I hear people ahead. Hold on, don't go, don't go yet. There's a human. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were there earlier. Yeah. Ah, oh, so it pretty much goes right on that. Where is everybody yeah. at? Where's all the cowsies? That was a very fun experience. Right now it's all the horses and the cows are cows can't be bothered. Oh god, here they come. Oh, here they come. Look at them. So, they know that we have treats. So, over there that is the hayride that we took earlier that Jessica got to feed the cows and it was obviously a, experience. a hayride has come by and all the cows are like we're done. So this this kind cowboy over there is calling the cows and here they come one of the horned ones is the one we said earlier There's only two. is this is this what is this what they would consider like waiting till the cows come home huh. we're just sitting here waiting i don't know look at it oh it's a cow it's running it is running i didn't realize cows ran of course they do i don't I know why I, didn't, run. I don't know why i didn't think that the cows run any animal Look at him book. He's like, give me that food. So they're milk cows? They are milk cows. Hello, milk cows. Do you have any chocolate milk? Strawberry milk. You don't want the chocolate milk. No, I don't want the chocolate milk, she says. I, I, I'm like touching the fence. Barbed wire, don't Well, for a second there, I was like, wait, is it is it electrified? It's not electrified. Mm, that was a cocoon. A cocoon? Yeah. Or something that probably animal poop i've never felt so city in my life than i do right yeah. now standing here with a camera and filming cows running and going they run <laughs> it's like in any kind of movie any kind of setting mm -hmm. walking back into the the cornfield is never a good. is never good for anyone no this is this could potentially be disastrous baby come here so do you know what they call a gathering of crows a murder a murder of crows it's like we have stumbled upon a clearing here and there's a bunch of people everywhere and it's like a murder of people they're not really crows wait are we going out that way i think that way is out I'm just saying it's a beautiful oh you want some pictures So the sun is going down and it is getting darker. And you see the birds? I do. We have to get out before it gets dark because you know what happens, right? He who walks behind the rose will come for us. Oh, and there's the barrel tractor train. You, my dear, right there are creepy. Beautiful and creepy, but creepy nonetheless. Check this out. 360 degrees, surrounded by corn. You know, it's almost like any other time of the year, this would not be exciting. It's like July or May. There she is again, look at that. It's like July or May. It's like, hey, let's go hang out in a cornfield. It's like, why? But whenever it gets close to Halloween, that's whenever people go, let's go. Let's go hang out with some cream of corn. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna go to the stores. You know, like whenever people uh, left. You know how whenever people, right before a hurricane, they go and they buy all the water and they buy all the, the bread and all that jazz? Right before Halloween, I'm gonna go to every store and buy every canned corn product I can find and I'm gonna stack them into nine foot high can stocks. Wow. And that's gonna be my cornfield. 
And then whenever Christmas comes, I'm gonna go buy a whole bunch of mashed potatoes and make it snow. It's weird, there's like, this, it's, it's just children popping up all over the place. Where they're not supposed to be. Yeah, where they're not supposed to be. It's like, I wonder if this, I wonder if this is how Stephen King got his story. He went with a, uh, on a, you know, cord maze with his family whenever he was a kid up there in Maine, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, look at those kids. They're out there where they're not supposed to be, being hoodlums and stuff. And then he's like, children of the corn, the he who walks behind the rose is going to get you. I think that's it. How awesome would it be if, like, Stephen King was like, you suck. <laughs> that's not how it went down. <laughs> Uh, and there's a sign up ahead. We did it. It says, Congrat congratulations, you made it to the finish line. Out is that way. Do we win that El Camino? Is it like our prize? She just keeps walking. Harvest holler, as fun and as beautiful as it was, especially with the sun going down, it wasn't as good as what we were hoping it was going to be. Not like the corn mazes the of pumpkin our of our youth. Yeah. Still a lot of fun here in Florida. This is our yeah. first one, probably the only one that we're going to be doing this season, but it's our first one together. Yeah, I mean, it was still nice. It's still a lovely experience, and this is cool because it's actually a functioning farm. Yeah. Got so to, it's not like a pop up. You got to feed a cow. Lot. We got to feed a cow. That yeah. was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. A lot different than what she thought it was going to be. Ooh. Not that I knew what it was going to be about, but. It's all, all in all, it's a great place to come, and it's probably one of the better ones because it's actually out on an actual farm, um, <coughs> but not an actual pumpkin patch farm, though. But there's it's, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, there's tons of places like this in Florida, and literally, I think I said this at the very, very beginning of this episode that our main selling point, what we were solely looking for, was the size of the corn stalks. Mm -hmm. As funny as that sounds, there are a lot of corn mazes here in Florida where the corn is like, or even lower. Uh, we've it, seen, yeah. yeah, we've seen videos and pictures of people just walking through what looked to be shrubbery in somebody's yard. So this was pretty amazing. So we will give that to Harvest Holler. Yeah. Really cool. And the hay ride and the little barrel ride was cute. And the yeah. food here is actually really good. I said it while we're on it, but the, the barrel train, that was kind of like the farm space mountain.